Hey, it's Christina with Tina Girl Travels. Today I'm going to show you, and I'm going to read this because it's a long name, the PackSafe Econol MetroSafe LS100 Anti-Theft Crossbody Bag. Long name, amazing little product. So I ordered this from our local MEC, which is Mountain Equipment Co-op here in Canada. And you can get this at REI in the States as well. And I'm sure a lot of other places, but that's probably where I would go look for it. So I love PackSafe products. One of my very first YouTube videos that I made was on the PackSafe Vibe 20, which is this bag right here. And uh, I love this bag. We use it almost on a daily basis between my husband and I. I take it to work. Um, I use it um, when I go out for a day trip or on a weekend trip or any kind of uh, vacation that we do. We always bring that bag. And my husband uses it for his hikes because he fills it with his water bottles and all that stuff. And it's just such a well thought out product. And same with this one that I'm going to show you today. So this is the PackSafe MetroSafe LS100. And I truly believe that PackSafe makes some of the best anti-theft gear available on the market. This is a great little unisex crossbody bag. It's small, but I'm gonna show you just how much stuff I can actually pack into it. It's made out of a tough nylon fabric called Econol, which is regenerated nylon waste from the ocean, like fishing nets and plastic and stuff. It's just crazy. So inside this pocket goes right down to the bottom. It's a big pocket. You see the mesh pocket in the front and then these other two pockets and also this little swivel clip where you can put your keys. Now the back of the bag, let's have a look in there. It's got a padded pocket for stuff like, well, I'm going to show you in a minute what I'm going to put in there, some electronics. Um, the RFID lined pocket here for all your valuables to keep your identity safe. It's a great bag. So let's pack this thing and I'm going to show you how much stuff I can fit into it. So we're going to start with my iPad mini. So I've taken it out of my usual case. And so this pocket is perfect for like an e-reader or a mini iPad. And then I'm going to put in, let's see, I'm going to put in my, my uh, guidebook. The plan was to go to Rome, didn't work out. Put my wallet in there. I'm even going to put an umbrella in here. It's just a little umbrella, but it still works great. I'm going to pop my passports in the front here. And then I've got my little travel cards. And we're going to put a pen and some glasses in there. Now, as you can see, I could still be putting lots more things. I could still be putting keys in there. I could still be putting my, well, my cell phone. Let me grab my cell phone here. There it is. My cell phone fits in here. And you know what? Honestly, I could still fit a few little snacks and granola bars or something in there. The body of this bag is lined with exo mesh slash guard fabric. It's really tough stuff. And the zippers on the PackSafe products are really well thought out. And they may seem fussy at first, but once you've played around with them a bit, they're really easy to use. And I'll go over the zipper system with a better close up in a minute. So the strap is actually super ingenious. Along the sides, you'll see there's a wire and that actually makes it difficult for anybody to come by and just cut it and steal your back. Um, I want to show you the buckle here. The buckle adjusts from 14 to 30 inches or 36 to 75 centimeters. This is a cool thing. I want to show you the turn and lock hook so you can detach it from the bag and wrap it around your chair at a restaurant or around a fence post or a tree or whatever you find. Like I said, it's a little fussy. You got to figure out, you got to play with it. Okay, so I move that over and I'll show you a close up of that in a second. So that comes off and then you can put that around a tree or a chair or whatever. This is our daughter Rebecca modeling the bag for me. She's got a little baby bump there and that little baby bump was just born two weeks ago, little Luca. So as you can see, the bag looks really great on Rebecca and nice close up here of this bag. Currently the bag comes in blue and gray. 
I'm going to show you the zippers here. So this is the um, main attach point that's that's actually attached to the bag. And it's got this little sliding clip here that you slide open and then you can put uh, the zipper hook in, or the zipper loop into the hook. Now, like I said, you got to play around with it a bit and then you just slide this back and that makes it so you can't open that. You could actually put both zippers in there if you wanted to, right? There's a little hole that you could put a, like a little travel lock if you wanted to. Okay, if you pull out this little clip, it's attached by a little piece of elastic and you can pull that out of the pocket and attach the other zipper to this part too. So that one's not lockable, but it'll definitely slow somebody down who's trying to get into your bag. Here, let's have a look at the strap lock a little closer. So as you can see, it says lock and unlock and you just slide this piece over and then it, open, it makes it so that you can open the latch. We lock it and unlock it. Hey, thanks for watching Tina Girl Travels today. I have more PackSafe videos coming up. One is a PackSafe purse that they sent me. Actually, they gifted something to me. It was like my first gifting that I ever got. And uh, it was meant for our trip that we were supposed to take in March of this year uh, to Italy. And of course that didn't work out because of the pandemic, but that's okay because uh, I've actually used it um, since then, since March, I've been using it every day just to try it out. It's fabulous. I'm going to show you that video coming up real soon. And I just ordered another backpack today from PackSafe, like I purchased it and it's coming in the mail and I will be showing you that. And that's a backpack that you can use for like as a carry on. So I'm really excited about that. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And also hit that little bell while you're at it. That way you'll get a little alert saying that I just posted a new video. Subscriptions, always free, just means you're first to know if I upload a new video. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, Tina Girl Travels.